Now I've switched out to a different sheet. This one I'm going to use with our counter app. So I'm going to go back to our plug and play apps and click on the counter app to play that app. And I want to find out who likes watermelon, who likes bananas, and who likes apples. So I'm simply going to plug in, let's see, left will be this green one. So since Makey Makey works with anything that's conductive, this pencil lid is conductive. And I want to plug that to the left and I'm going to use up for the banana. So I could actually use real fruit for this too. I could test real bananas and I could test real apples and I could have my, um, I could have people tell me their favorite fruit all day long. And one thing that's also fun if you're using a clipboard, you can hook earth to the middle on the clipboard. And okay, so now when I hold earth here, I can actually touch Make sure this alligator clip is clipped on really well. Sometimes you can pull these plastic things back. There we go. Now I hold earth and I touch. I can vote for watermelon as my favorite snack. If these um, feel a little messy, you can always take a binder clip like that. So now I can vote. Bananas, apples, bananas, bananas, bananas. And let's say I wanted to clear it. I've added this little, I'm gonna make a Play-Doh button to space. So alligator clip to space. And that's my clear. If I hold on right here, I can clear it. So I only have three drawings. I can actually change this app to be three buttons right here. And then click on that again uh, to make sure it's not on that green boxes on the outside. Then it's still in adjustable mode. And now I can vote watermelon, watermelon, banana, 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 banana and apple. If for some reason it seems like your drawing isn't working, you might want to take your pencil and draw that graphite on again. So if I touch the center, it's not gonna work anyway. I need to be touching this outline part, but I can vote for bananas. Um, I'll make sure you use this pencil to get that graphite really well connected. It's like, I bet I can't do it right here yet. So if I take this graphite and I draw like that, get it really thick. Now I should be able to press right there and vote for watermelons. And bananas. All right, and I'm going to clear it. So that's a fun way to make a voting or counter app with drawing samples. You can also take a drawing and I can trade this out, get rid of my Play-Doh button, and take all these clips off here. I'm going to take my drawing off and add this shape one. This is all graphite. I think this time I'm going to hold earth. Take this left arrow to the first one I want to count. So I'm going to count circles with the left arrow. And I'm going to count, I'm going to use the red one here. I'm sorry, squares are with the up arrow. Triangles are with the right arrow. And then I'm going to use this yellow one's connected to space. That's going to be clear. Now when I hold earth, I can count circles. Let's see, oh, I didn't even see a circle. Let me clear that. Oh, here's a circle. So I have a circle here. Here's another circle and another circle. And here's a rectangle, not a square. Well, I found another circle. Here's a nice square right here. So I'll count that square just like that. So this might be a really fun activity to have students go count um, shapes in the room. And again, if I want to clean these alligator clips up so they don't look so crazy, just take this binder clip, do a little wire management there. All right, so that's another way to use the drawings with the counter app.